Hi, and welcome to this week's Fresh Life. I'm 13 on your side health reporter Val Lego, bringing you a fresh take on healthy living. Your dry, itchy elbows need more than just lotion. Find out what your body is trying to tell you and how oranges can help dry hair. Hint, it doesn't involve eating them. But first, we're all chasing that good night's sleep. But what if I told you getting a solid eight hours isn't enough? It's also about when you get those eight hours. Dr. Christopher Morgan, a medical director of Mercy Health St. Mary's Sleep Center, is here to talk to us about why the best sleep you'll get is before midnight. Dr. Morton, you say it has something to do with how our bodies are wired to go to sleep after the sun goes down. Uh, yes, thanks for having me. Uh, so, uh, an cycle that we control when we sleep and when we're awake, and this is called our circadian rhythms. Uh, most people are genetically wired to go to sleep from sundown to sunrise to align with the natural light cycle, which includes some hours before midnight. Um, however, when you stimulate your body with environmental factors like uh, artificial light, it can shift our schedules later um, and you may sleep in a time period when your body's not naturally accustomed to it. And so light exposure, as you were just mentioning, plays a big role, you know, and it's the natural light too that we're talking about. Yeah, so um, light exposure is actually the most powerful thing that entrains our natural sleep cycles or, and our sleep cycles in general. So um, it can really influence the circadian rhythms. So when you when you trick your body with this artificial light at nighttime or avoiding light in the morning time, that can have a large uh, effect on your natural rhythms and you can cheat your body out of the most optimal sleep time um, and it can align with your natural rhythms. And there was also just one study that says that going to bed after midnight might even shorten your lifespan. Yeah, so this study was uh, focusing on people of different sleep types. So kind of evening for the night out patients. Um, it showed that those patients actually had a higher risk of cardiovascular morbidity and um, slightly increased mortality. And that showed this too. And part of the reason is because the uh, natural um, the natural cycle of sleep, which is likely some before midnight, um, is offset by the artificial light and demands of your life that you have that can kind of push those schedules in different areas. So um, if you have a problem with that, you know, we can adjust things like that by using light and melatonin, but you should see a sleep specialist if you're struggling with trying to sync your daily rhythms with your natural rhythms. Always good advice to seek that sleep specialist if you need it. Well, thanks for the tips, Dr. Morgan. Definitely going to try to hit that pillow earlier from now on. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me. If you are noticing dry skin, especially around your elbows, it's not just a sign of too much summer sun. Your body is trying to tell you something. Dry skin around the elbow is a clear sign of a vitamin C or A deficiency. Try adding more vegetables and fruit to your diet and be sure to include lots of if apricots, oranges and pumpkin which should be easy to do this time of year. Looking for a way to freshen up your locks? Try using an orange peel on them. Throw an orange peel and all into the blender and apply it to the full length of your hair. The vitamin C in the orange will give you soft, smooth, shiny hair. Thanks to our friends at Beauty Tips for Life for this tip. And thanks for joining me. You can catch a new episode of Fresh Life every Sunday at noon right here on the 13 on your side YouTube channel. Until then, keep it healthy, keep it fresh.